Hey, this is not sir. 614 is out in North America, other regions tomorrow. U.S. carrier loadouts, Pan-Asia destroyer line. Those are the two things that are being added, and I want to talk about them because I'm excited. I'll be streaming later today, probably two hours earlier than my normal start time because I will have my ISP coming near the tail end of the regularly scheduled stream time. They will be trying to address my issue, and I'm really sorry that the issue still exists. I see people say, oh, I'll watch you no matter what. Well, no one's going to watch Super Laggy if they've never learned or been introduced to the person. You know, obviously, I would prefer that I'm not dropping frames, so that's important. But I appreciate the support. It means a lot. It really does mean a lot. Now, American Carriers, they have been irrelevant for a year, over a year at this point. And I'm really excited to see them not be irrelevant. I've heard from friends and community contributors and players who have talked about not playing them for months and years. And I think this loadout change is definitely a step in the right direction. Does it solve all the problems? No. But the stream will be showing off some of the carriers and the loadouts in a regular game. If you go and try and play this stuff on the public test server, everyone's just built for anti-U work. And it gets annoying. So something a little bit more normal. And it will be fun. I will probably be rocking a lot of AP when I can, of course, because it's just easier to hit. It removes a lot of the RNG aspects of the dive bomber indicator because it's so narrow. And yeah, it's not gonna set a dot, but I would rather have something succeed because I had good accuracy or fail rather than rely on, oh, it just rolled the right number and it hit the target. That doesn't feel good. So it'll be cool to experience the American aircraft carrier. This is my Essex and we're trying, we're trying to do some damage to the target. It wasn't looking very good because the enemy was doing a great job at trying to stop me. But this loadout's gonna be gone. The new loadout will be in existence. Make sure that you understand that all the loadouts that you spent free XP or XP on, you will be getting free XP back because it's not gonna be in the game anymore, obviously. And credits if you bought it too. So that'll be pretty cool. So don't be alarmed. Oh, I got 50, 100,000. Free XP now, I only had 20. Well, that's because you got reimbursed. So that's cool. Not that I'm one of those people that have all the loadouts unlocked. I just looked at it and said, oh, that's a piece of crap. I really regret not playing through the carriers when they were so powerful, the Americans. Oh, I think it was like tier five or tier six. And I was pretty crappy. I just wasn't as good as I needed to be and it showed. So, taking a long time, a long time off, because I'm on the Lexington and it's a piece of crap and everyone knows it, ah, oh, that was just a trying time. But the loadout change will improve them. I can't wait for more carrier changes, but I appreciate the changes that are coming and I'm not gonna complain. Now, on top of the carrier, We've also got the Pan-Asian Destroyer line, and that's going to be fun for many reasons. A new line. The last line for DDs was the Germans, and that was really awesome. It turned out really awesome once we all figured out how to really play them. And I'm hoping that maybe there'll be some sense of discovery left in the Pan-Asians. I don't really think so. I think we pretty much know that a gun build with some torpedo damage is the way to go, and... That's okay, but I was really hoping that we would get some revival of a torpedo-only system. I just want this to exist. I loved it back in the day for the Japanese destroyers, and clearly they got rid of that. It was unhealthy for the game, but oh man, it was fun stealthing around, relying basically exclusively on the torpedo systems. It was, it was cool. 
even when you saw a target, it would disengage, you know. I just think that would be interesting. And I, I thought it was interesting at the time. And yeah. Oh, well. We'll just make the best with what we have. And what we have is a lot of variety in torpedo systems, destroyers, gun systems. I enjoy it. I appreciate it. Everything feels slightly different. They all play differently. I enjoy it. And hopefully I enjoy the Pan-Asians. I will certainly like to push through and unlock the ships and describe to you in excruciating detail for some of you how I played a certain tier and enjoy it. And hopefully you'll be along for the ride as well. I just really appreciate all the support, all the interest in my content. I try so hard to make the right stuff for you. And I misstep. I say the wrong thing, but I hope that it comes across as genuine, because that's what it is. I, I love it when I hear about one of you succeeding, improving. It brings me incredible joy to hear about your successes, and even... It's fun to hear about your failures because when you're sharing it, it's a cool story or whatever. And that's the best thing about any game is that we can play this multiplayer game and have completely different experiences using basically the same system. That's really fun. That's not the case for a lot of single player experiences. A lot of single player experiences, there's a limited number of options that can be done and we pretty much share the same thing. Now, sometimes that's really cool. But other times, it's really awesome to hear about some crazy play that only happened to you. Or a one in a million shot or whatever. And I love it. I love it. That's why I do it. And I can't get enough of it. So I hope that the stream is enjoyable for you tomorrow or later today. Sorry. I hope it's enjoyable for you. One question. Well, a couple questions that I'm looking to explore on my stream. I want to confirm that AP is the superior loadout for American carriers. And I, I really want to get into good engagements with other American carriers. I, I really want to experience how they play together in a, in a normal random battle. Public test server was just so awkward between having five total players and most of the players min-maxing for anti-air. I mean... It wasn't fun. Aircraft carriers are not fun when there's just like three or four targets. It, it, you really need a, a large fleet action for it to feel cool. And we won't have that issue going live versus public test server. But yes, I, I want to check out the loadout for AP. I do think that that's going to be just the superior build because the limited RNG, the indicator is going to be smoother, easier to use. And I appreciate that. I really do. I hope everyone appreciates that. And then for the Pan-Asians, I really don't know how successful or unsuccessful a torpedo build will be initially. There will be an overabundance of destroyers. Pan-Asian destroyers. So maybe a gun build will be successful for many reasons. And that's good. Because some people are just like, ah, who cares? Who cares about the guns? I care about the guns. I've been trying to do a gun build on my Fletcher. And I'm probably going to do a gun build on my gearing. Partly because basic firing training improves my AA protection. And I do expect a lot of American carriers, and just carriers in general, to be flooding the queue. And that's great. That's fantastic. But that means that my DDs are going to be hunted, and I need to protect myself. Yeah, that's what it's called. Protect myself <laughs> from the invaders. Because they're going to be ruthless. They're going to be going, oh, hey, not, sir. It's great to see you, because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. I really enjoy playing against you guys, or playing with you. It's always fun. 
You're so kind to me in chat. I don't need to cover the chat because everyone is so polite. There's only once or twice in months where it's like, okay, we get it. You don't like me. You don't like nice people. You don't like anyone. I get it. Mostly it's like, hey, Notzer, I really enjoy your content. Keep up the great work. Oh, I mean, that's that means a lot. And I, I just can't express how much I appreciate it and how great it makes me feel when I see that in chat. That's the whole point. That's, that's why we're here. Make sure you have a better experience. And I love making the content. I just want it to be better because ISP getting in the way. Hopefully we fix that. Gosh, I hope he finds the issue. And it's like, yep, it was this thing. I want that so bad. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.